Hello everybody, and welcome to another StarCraft 2 match. I'm your host, Big Blue Firebat, and we're gonna get right into this game with White Raw spawning here as the Red Protoss, and his opponent is going to be Slider spawning as the Blue Protoss. This is not a match from any, any uh, tournaments or series. This is simply a ladder game that was recommended to me to cast, and so being recommended, I've decided to cold cast it, so I will be as surprised as you are as things go down, and we're gonna see what kind of ladder chops these two excellent players have. Uh, White Rot, one of the older players in the StarCraft 2 community in the uh, pro scene. He is very well respected. He is known for his strong mechanics. He is known for his uh, politeness and his sportsmanship. He is just an excellent player and he is very difficult to get around in terms of having a better strategy. He usually knows what he's doing, what he wants to do. If he's going to fail anywhere, he will occasionally fail on tactics, but not often. His opponent, on the other hand, Slider, um, not too much known about him. His most uh, famous quality is the fact that he was a strong Brood War player, but more importantly in StarCraft II, he did fairly well in other tournaments, but mostly relying on very strong early aggression, a lot of all-in play, and we'll see if his play has evolved since then, if he's moving into more of a standard, solid play, more of a macro style, or at least a mid-game play that gives you a better chance of surviving if your initial push fails. And we are going to uh, get things going right now. White Ross sending out his first probe scout. He's going to be scouting in the wrong direction, but that's okay. He will find him very soon as they are uh, spawning on the cross positions here. Interesting feature about this map is these four Zelnaga watchtowers in the center. I expect both players to be fighting over these towers extremely early on in the game as the information uh, they provide is going to be absolutely critical for the rest of the match. If you can hold on to um, your towers, not bad. If you can hold on to your opponent's towers, that is in, that was particularly um, awesome because you can tell when they move out, what their unit composition, and it allows you to prepare, allows you to get yourself into position and ready for their attack. And now we have White Raw finding his way into slider space, and he's going to be using that probe there, pumping up his APM to get things going, and. Uh, attacking this other probe here and actually doing being very pesky with his probe micro able to do quite a bit of damage with his one pro probe stealing some of his minerals those five minerals are five minerals that slider will never ever have and slider has finally found his opponent here seeing the second gas go down for right white raw both of these players going for a fairly standard build um chrono boosting out their um Warpgate research and Slider instead deciding to chrono boost out a Stalker. So that might indicate that he is looking for something a little more sneaky. He is saving up a lot of energy on his Nexus. He has not been chrono boosting probes, and that is going to uh, not really impact him in terms of economy. But um, this Stalker is out now, and I think he wants to chase White Rot out and perhaps go for some kind of surprise tech. We will see. I'm not sure yet, but he is actually chrono boosting more Stalkers, so this might be an early aggressive play. He might be going to poke up um, White Rot's front door before he has as many um, Stalkers or Sentries or Zealots and try to take control of the match in that way, do a little bit of damage, kill some probes, and White Rot is throwing down his robotics facility at the same time. We have Slider also throwing down a robotics facility, so both of these players are going to be going in the same tech path, and we'll see what they choose to do. I expect to see a lot of Stalkers, a lot of Immortals, with a couple observers for uh, spotting high grounds and scouting out their opponents, and it's just going to be a matter of map control. And now we have Slider moving with two Stalkers to take out White Raw's single Stalker here, but White Raw was able to get four or five hits on the Stalker, doing a lot of damage. Second Stalker coming in for White Raw, almost going to take out this one Stalker here, but actually forcing these two Stalkers away with one Stalker and then another one coming in to back him up and actually White Raw getting a huge amount of um, damage out of that engagement. Slider did not lose any of his Stalkers, but he took a huge amount of hole damage and still White Raw is able to do a lot of damage with his single Stalkers. Great control, a little bit I would say of missed micro, bad timing for Slider, not able to do too much damage and these Stalkers are both in the red. That is going to be very bad news for any particular engagement. In Protoss and, Pro and Protoss versus Protoss, every unit counts, every Stalker counts. If you lose a Stalker, you are in big trouble. If you lose three, you're in big trouble, even if you get them fairly damaged and we have now an observer going out for slider and he has a let's see what does he have going down there a twilight council 
going down for slider, where is that hiding? Up at the top of his base to avoid being observed by any observers, of which there is now one for White, White Raw, and White Raw is deciding not to go for his council. He's going to get some immortals. We have a very similar build going down here. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. I expect to see Blink stalkers. Yep, Blink is being researched right now for these stalkers, and White Raw, instead of going for tech, he's going for an expansion. He wants to get his extra economy going in order to overwhelm his opponent with units. But the danger in this is that if Slider moves out with a strong enough timing, if he moves out at just the right time with just the right tech, as soon as his Stalker Blink finishes with some Immortals, he may be able to simply out maybe able to overwhelm White Raw with aggression. But White Raw is scouting through this base. He sees Slider's tech. He sees the Twilight Council. Not quite. He doesn't see that Twilight Council yet. We'll see if he goes in the right direction to see it. He is so close to seeing that Council. Yes, he sees the Twilight Council. He sees it researching, and he can only assume that Blinkerstock is going down as Zealot legs are not very useful for this matchup. He's going to keep one probe on the watchtower, but he is moving all of his units back for a defensive position and chrono boosting out another mortal. He has two already on the field and we have Stalker, we have Slider moving out with his Stalkers with an immortal. He's got another immortal on the way, more Stalkers being warped in and uh, Blink is almost finished. By the time he gets there, Blink will be completed and now we, we have White Raw completely aware of what's going to happen and this is going to, where, this is going to be where it comes down to tactics. It's going to come down to positioning and we're going to see if Slider is able to overwhelm White Raw with his superior tech. Although White Raw is going to have more Immortals. He's going to have three Immortals to Slider's two. And one of his Immortals is not even with the army yet. It is... where is it even? Well, it looks like he only has one Immortal at the, mo at the moment. Yes, he just has one on the field. My mistake. But we have Stalkers blinking up into the mineral line for White Raw. And he's going to lose a lot of probes this way. But we got Immortals coming in. More Stalkers coming in behind. And these Stalkers and Immortals are going to trap these uh, other Stalkers for Slider in White Raw's base. Immortals doing a huge amount of damage to those Stalkers. They're forced to blink on the other side. They really wanted to blink down onto this ledge, but they couldn't. And now we have this Observer going down for Slider. And that was a huge engagement for White Raw. Slider lost almost everything. At the same time, he was running in with Zealots and Immortals, but good force fields going down, trapping some of those Immortals on the other side, not able to do any damage, and now we have more Immortals coming in from White Raw, forcing these units away, and it looks like this is going to be trouble for Slider, who's forced a GG out of this game. He realizes that White Raw would not have been able, he would not have been able to beat White Raw's army, and with White Raw's um, and Nexus already up, and Slider is just starting. He lost his army, he lost his push, and he lost his confidence, I would have to say. It looks like White Raw was able to psych him out of the match. I think that while he lost the battle, he may have been able to reinforce in time to not lose the war. But, I don't know. It was a good game. Good play by uh, White Raw. Great play over here, trapping those stalkers as they tried to escape. And all around, uh, interesting Protoss play. See you next time.